Okay guys, I had so many different emotions running through me as I watched this week's episode. Like I was angry at some of the characters, then I was nervous for some of the characters, and at points of this watching the show I literally had chills and honestly thumbs up if this felt like a finale to you because it definitely did to me. So as I thought, and I even tweeted this out a few days ago, I said there is no way that Doug is going to turn himself in for the crimes that he actually committed. So he does turn himself in because he's like, hey, I'm the person you're looking for. But of course he gets off for this because there's no concrete proof. And that's exactly what I tweeted out. And I knew, I just knew that Ben would back him. So, um, you know, the thing about it is, is that Nina knows that Doug is the right person, but there's really nothing that she can do about it. So Jane is a person that I've really disliked through some of this season, but now I kind of understand that she's been manipulated and controlled and is finally having some confidence and feeling like, you know, she can stand up for herself and maybe she'll get away from Doug. I'm not really sure, but she has agreed to try and help Detective Clements get out of captivity, but they're just not trying hard enough because it ends up not working. So they end up having a lineup for potential people who may have kidnapped Ben slash Adam. And Ben looks right at Doug and totally lies and says it's not him. Which is, at this point, I'm yelling on Twitter. I'm yelling at my TV. I seriously disliked Ben. And I know some of you tweeted me that you felt sorry for him and still feel he is the victim. And if you end up being right, I will apologize in advance. But I think he's 99% a villain and will be the main villain of this series and in a way to continue the series because I don't think that Doug is a major character and something will probably happen to him. So I don't like Ben at all, as you can see from the thumbnail. And I just think the way that he talks to people and looks at people in his new family, he has this evil look on his face. Don't trust him. Definitely think he's a villain. We got to see some backstory on Hank and to see that at one point in his life he was almost normal and people actually thought he was normal. He had an office job, he looked normal, he had friends, etc. But of course after work he was going cruising for little boys. Not normal at all. So I really felt bad for Nina in this episode because she knows that Doug is the guy and no one believes her and everyone thinks she's insane because the first time she put the wrong person behind bars and now they're worried she's trying to do it again and they're not going to let that happen. So she's kind of gone crazy trying to track him and trying to figure out how to, you know, get him behind bars for this crime because, yes, he's definitely guilty. So she puts a tracking device into his jacket, but he's smarter than that. I mean, most criminals are pretty clever, and he pays a kid to wear his jacket and ditches Nina. And, well, I can't wait for Doug to get paid back, and I'm hoping that will happen next week, but I don't know. And I also can't wait for Ben to get paid back because I don't like him. So there was a very disgusting scene when Clements comes up with an idea that if Jane cuts off his thumbs, he's going to be able to get out of the shackles and to be set free because Doug is still missing at this point. And she agrees to do it after a lot of convincing, but the thing is she starts to do it and he passes out and she freaks out from all the blood and she only gets one thumb like halfway off, which is disgusting and he's losing a crazy amount of blood. And I've got to be honest that I'm really worried for him. He has that infected head injury. Now he's lost a ton of blood because of this thumb injury. And not only that, I don't know if they will just decide to murder him or what, but I'm very concerned. Thumbs up if you're concerned for him because I don't know if he's going to make it out of this thing alive. So Willa comes with the, up with a plan, which sounds like a pretty good plan to me. She tells Ben he needs to go away. He needs to tell his mom that he doesn't want to deal with this election stuff anymore and that he wants to go to boarding school in California. And she's telling him after that he just disappears from the family. Now he freaks out. Take a look at his face in this scene because he is terrified of losing his new family because I think he does really want to be part of this family because he never really had one in some sick, twisted way. But um, he's not going to do that. No way. Like, he immediately goes to John and he starts like, you know, cuddling up to him or cozying up to him and he's talking about what his room's going to be like in the Capitol once Claire is elected governor. And at that point was another point where I was screaming at my TV yelling because I can't stand him and I can't stand him for being so conniving. Oh my gosh. Um, he's just such a real freaking problem. So we also found, find out what led to Hank being on that sex offender list. Now we knew it was like indecent exposure and I was kind of imagining that maybe he exposed himself to some kids. Like he was standing up in front of a kid and exposed himself. It actually wasn't that I guess severe, but still gross nonetheless. He was doing it in his own car and a police officer caught him. 
but you know even though no kids probably saw what he was doing if you were the parent of those kids I'm sure you would be disgusted and want him to be arrested and want him to be on the sex offender list the thing about that is is that you're on that thing for life no matter how minor or how minor someone might think the offense is um, and he's very, you know, bothered by this, but we also understand that he got this phone call where he's not going in for his treatments to become a eunuch, so I guess he's abandoned that idea. I really don't know what he is thinking. So, um, Claire goes over to talk to Hank, and she's like, why do you think Doug is the guy? And he tells her why, and he tells her that Doug was spying on her son, like, every day for a long time, and then she kind of realizes at that point that Doug is the right guy, so I'm so glad that she has figured that out. So we see Bridie um, going to this, we don't understand what she's doing and we'll find out here just a little bit, but she's at this diner and they don't even have Wi-Fi and she's talking to this waitress forever and drinking 11 cups of coffee. And we don't know that that means anything, but it's, it's got a really important par uh, place in this series, in this episode, and I'll tell you what that is in just a little bit. Um, so Bridie goes off with Danny just to kind of chill out and have a drink and she finally comes out to him as gay and he's very supportive of course and he tells her like stay away from did I call her Bridie? Willa. He tells Willa to stay away from Bridie because she's using them and I really hope she listens to him and has nothing more to do with Bridie because of course she is using all of them. Um, so Doug comes home and Jane's not able to free Detective Clements and Doug kind of freaks out because he sees blood but she's like look I just had this baby I don't know. I just think that Doug's going to either like go down there and see the detective and realize she lied or what. I mean, yeah, she had the baby, but the blood was from the detective. So I don't think it's good for him. Claire actually tells Willow that she knows that Ben lied because he did this thing with his hands when he lies. So she knows he's a problem and it kind of makes her have a meltdown and like lock herself in her room. Um, Claire does get elected. She wins the election. And she can't even go talk to her supporters because she's so distraught because Willa tells her that Ben killed Adam. Now, we don't know that for sure. All he said was that he hurt Adam. It may be a little bit too easy that he killed him, although I could see that he did kill him. Maybe it was sort of... Maybe there's more to it than we know. I still don't like Ben, but what do you guys think? I'm interested to see what you think. Um, but I really don't think Doug is a killer when you think about it because Jane told Clements that, you know, he won't kill you. And some people, as evil as they are, they do a lot of evil things, but they have boundaries, and maybe he doesn't want to murder anyone. So I'm kind of thinking that is the case, too. So I guess the biggest huge, you know, even though there were so many huge moments in this episode, something that none of us could ever see coming happened in the diner. And as it was starting to happen, I figured it out. I tweeted out, oh, my God, this is Ben's mom. So the waitress that Bridie had been talking to for such a long time, and we thought she was just kind of wasting her time, she was actually there on purpose because Bridie, as much as I dislike her, figured out that this is Ben's mom, and when she asked her, she said her son was named Ben. She had gotten into some trouble with an ex-boyfriend, had been in jail when she got out. He was in the foster system, and she couldn't find him, so she says. So... Come on, guys. It seems pretty obvious to me that Doug is that boyfriend, that Doug is Ben's dad. And Brittany, who watches this um, show and is a subscriber and, you know, loves the family, has been telling me for weeks that this is his dad. And it's going to be huge if it is because I don't think anyone really called this. Maybe some people did, but I know on my channel she's the only person who's been commenting with that theory. And if you've had that theory, then huge props to you. But I'm going to give her all the credit because I did not see any other comments um, you know, with this idea. Not my idea, but I supported it and got behind it, and I just think it's going to be awesome if that is the truth. So, wow. Um, I know from what the writers are saying, there's going to be a huge question slash cliffhanger for next week's ending. So, I don't even think I can predict that, but I'm so excited to find out what that is because it's going to be big so that we can have a second season. Also, I saw some of the um, people with the show asking if you go to ABC. I tweeted this link out. You can go and share your support for the family, and I think it's important we do that. It's a new show. We don't know yet if it will be renewed. I would be crushed if it wasn't because we're never going to find out all these answers, and that's kind of just like it for it unless like Netflix or someone picks it up. So let's just hope that it's popular enough to get renewed because it's so good. It definitely deserves to be renewed. So I would love it if you would join me for next week's last live chat on the finale season one. It's on Monday night, 6 p.m. Eastern. All that info is down below. Um, I'm hoping a bunch of you will show up because I know we'll have a lot to talk about. So I can't wait to see you next week for the family finale. But until next time, I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye.